right, everybody. So, hey, the video that I had planned to actually do today, I can't do because it's raining. And it's raining off and on, thunderstorm showers and all that. So we're going to improvise right now. And we are going to jump to a video I had planned to do in a few days. But why don't we just do it today? Let's do the canning video for the okra. We are going to pickle some okra. I'm excited for this. I'm ready to share it. And if y'all are ready to learn, at least my way, <laughs> let's do it. So as a reminder, we're looking for two to three inch okras. We don't want the big long ones, not for the canning process. So uh, this is what we're looking for. Hey, and while we're out here in the garden, be looking out for your pests. I just killed a leaf-footed bug, those ugly little punks that suck the life out of everything. So when you're harvesting, it's also a great time Get your hands on your plants and inspect them for pests. Okay, so okras this small are too small. We want to let those get about double that size right there. Okay, so I just found an example of a really, really bad pest problem. Let me show you. One thing okra has a problem with are aphids. And once the aphids set in, as you can see, they're all over this okra plant right here. Well, then here comes the fire ants. Now the fire ants, if you can see the fire ants right there, they actually protect the aphids from the ladybugs, kind of like bodyguards. So, when you see this, there's only one thing to do with this right here. For something as bad as this right here, I just chop it off, put it in the trash can. Okay, so we got the harvest of okra right here. Now, I've been collecting okra, or harvesting okra, for the last couple of days. So, we got plenty of okra to do the canning. So, let's go do it. further in this video I want to invite you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already just hit the subscribe button hit that little bell so you're always notified whenever I upload videos you'll see throughout this video I'm going to throw up my links to my Facebook and Instagram pages both of them down home backyard gardening and hey if you all know people that love okra and would be interested in this recipe or in this video please share it please like it and leave comments I really like comments Okay, so now we're back inside and now it's time to start canning. So what's the first thing you do besides harvesting the okra? Well, the first thing that I do after I harvest is I'm going to wash the okra that I want to use. Once the okra has been washed, I'm going to set it aside and then I'm going to start focusing on getting everything else prepared. Now for this, you're going to need a pot to boil the cans in because, or to sit the cans in, because for okra, you just have to do a water bath. This isn't a vegetable that you have to stick in a pressure cooker. This is one that you just have to water bath it. So. It's a lot easier than say green beans that you actually have to put in the pressure cooker and, and all that. This one is a simple one, but there's still a lot of parts to this process. So uh, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and wash the jars. Now you wanna wash them really good. Good soapy water, rinse, uh, really, really wash them good. And then you wanna sit them aside on a clean mat and take the lids. Now the lids that you wanna use are these right here and you're going to put them in a pot of hot water, not boiling water. You don't want the surface of the lid to boil. You just want them really hot so they're nice and clean when you sit them on the jar to actually can. Before the water is boiling in the pot, you wanna go ahead and take the clean jars that you're going to use and you wanna sit them in the pot. One... Okay, when putting, the, when putting the jars into the pot, you want to be really, really careful, and you want to make sure that when you sit them down, they stay up. Or actually, for this part, that's really not important. Okay, now see how the lids, how that water is really, really hot? We're going to go ahead and stop it right there. Those lids have been completely sanitized, and we're going to go ahead and move it off the burner so they can so it can cool down. Once that's done, then we're gonna focus on creating the brine. Now, what you need for this, is, and I'm gonna put the recipe up on the screen right here. Vinegar, I use the white distilled vinegar. Water, 
and canning salt. Well, you want to make sure it's canning salt and dill seed. What we're going to do is mix all that together and this is going to be the brine that goes inside the jars once we're at that spot. So now what we're doing is we're waiting for the jars to boil, for that water to boil. That will make, them, that will make the jars completely clean and then we'll take them out. But in the meantime, while we're waiting on that, we still have these garlics. Now, if you want to use garlic, use garlic. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get these ready because I'm going to put one clove of garlic in each of these jars. And then we've got these red hot peppers. And then these came from the garden also, these Thai chili peppers here. Now I only have five <laughs> and I have six jars. So I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Now, as you just saw, I went and harvested what I needed. That is the best thing about having your own garden in your backyard, is if you need something and you happen to have it, you go get it. I love it. Now, I have not done this before, but what I'm going to do in one or maybe two of the jars is I'm gonna put jalapenos instead of the pep these red peppers. I really like the flavor of jalapenos, so why not give it a shot? see what it tastes like. Um, I'm always about experimenting and trying new things, so I think this might be just a win-win. What do you think? Hey, do me a favor. Drop a comment down below. Tell me what you think of this recipe or my process of doing this. Now, I want to say this right away. And I should have said it earlier in the video, but this is my way of canning. This is the way that I was taught. If you all were taught a different way or you do it a different way, hey, good to go. Drop it in the comments. Let me know. Let us all know your way of doing things if it's different than what I'm showing here. I'm all about learning and sharing what I've learned, what I know, and I would love to get that back also. Okay, so we're not quite there yet. Remember to stir this. You don't want it that salt to sit there and burn. Like it's doing right there, Chad. Okay, so I just crushed all the garlic and forgot to have it recording so we all know how to crush garlic but i really crush it hard i want the garlic cloves open because i want this the oils and the garlic flavor to immediately start leaking out into to the flavoring of the okra the water is almost boiling and we're, we'll be able to pull them out here in just a minute but while we're still waiting i still got a few more minutes here but let's go ahead and chop up the jalapenos and i've got another surprise or something I'm going to do that's very unorthodox. Or at least I have not seen this done anywhere. But hey, first right here on Down Home Backyard Gardening. <laughs> okay, so the water is almost ready. So we're gonna get ready to do this. Now again, whenever you're taking the jars out of the water, remember that's boiling water. So you wanna be really careful so you don't burn yourself. And when you take them out, you wanna make sure that you have a clean towel or something to sit the jars on that is not the counter remember the difference in temperature could potentially crack the jars i've heard of it happening once but again it's rare but you don't want to be the one that it, it, it cracks and then you just wasted that jar so just put a towel down uh, it's the easiest thing to do but it has to be a clean towel okay hey another thing that you can do while you're waiting for the jars to boil is you can start putting everything that you don't need away now that's what i do but hey you do you. Now remember, when you reach in, you want to be very careful and slowly drain this water out. Be as slow as you can so it does not come back on you. Okay, and there we have it. The jars are sitting there nice and clean. Now you leave the water boiling. You don't turn it down. Leave it going. Okay, so Chad, why do you have three sizes of jars? Hey, that's a good question. Now... I'm gonna answer this question by asking you a question. How many of y'all saw the last Harvest and Taste okra video part one that I did? If you did, you saw a trick that I did with the big okras, right? Okay, so what we're going to do in these little jars that are right there is we're gonna take the seeds out of these big okra that you can't really do anything with 
and we are going to pickle the seeds. <laughs> what we're gonna do is I'm gonna nuke these for about a minute or so, and then we're gonna start taking out the seeds and we're going to use those seeds inside those jars. Now again, I've never seen this done on YouTube or anywhere else, and uh, I gotta give all the credit to my mom for figuring out this trick, which again, if you watched the first video, I'll put a link to that right here. Uh, I explain how to do that with these big okras that you can't really do anything with, except use the seeds. Now you can store the seeds or we can eat the seeds. And in big okra like this, when you nuke them, you're kind of cooking the seeds and you're cooking this shell. Because again, this is really hard. Once you get the seeds out, you can actually eat the seeds right out of these once you nuke them. At least that's what I've been doing <laughs> with all these big okra. So I thought, why not try canning them? I don't know why that wouldn't work. And then down the road, you have a little snack of super healthy okra seeds in a different flavor. So why not? Okay, remember when you're doing this, you're listening for the pop because the shell is going to actually crack. Okay, there was one. There was two. Now remember, when you take these out, as you can see, they are piping hot. If you look down in there, you can see all the seeds. Almost looks like a revolver. With, a, with bullets in it. <laughs> okay, so out of that one okra, look at all the seeds that we just got. Okay, and that's just how you do it right there. Now, these seeds, they're still a little hard. You could totally put them back in for, in the microwave for another few minutes, or you could totally put these back in the microwave for a few seconds, you know, 20, 30 more seconds. Now, I'm not going to lie. This is a very okra, okra flavor, like very intense, but they are very good. Now, I'm going to leave them like this because whenever we put them in the, whenever I put them in the jars, whenever I put them in those jars and they start to do their thing, pickle these will expand and they will get bigger and softer so I'm gonna do this to the rest of these big okras that I have and then we're gonna be ready to jar them now it's time to jar these things up and get them ready to go so grab these now remember your hands need to be clean because I just touched the rim which I probably shouldn't have but I'm not redoing it okay so in these little jars we're gonna do we're going to do the okra seeds. All these I got out. I think this will be enough for at least these two jars. I wanted to do more, but it, it does take some time just keeping it real. So right off the bat, I'm going to make, I'm going to make these little jars, the jalapeno flavor, and I'm going to make them kind of hot. One garlic clove in each one. Once we have the garlic and the jalapenos in or the peppers, whichever you want to do, then we're just going to spoon in the okra seeds. One thing to remember when putting the okra in is you want to leave about a quarter of an inch of space at the top. You need that for when it's canning for the air. So about a quarter inch. I could probably put just a little. Actually, I think that's good right there. So we're going to leave that one alone. We're going to fill up this other one. Look at that. It's going to be perfect. Just enough. How about that? I'm going to tap it down. All right. Those are done. Now let's pack these other ones. For these, I'm going to put two or three of these in each one. So they're going to be hot. Thing of garlic. And then in that last one, I'm going to put the rest of the jalapenos. Why not? Give it a shot. Now, whenever you're packing your jars with your okra, you want to get as many in there as you can, and you want to make 
and you want to make it as tight as possible down inside the jar. You want as little air to be in here as you can for the process, for the fermenting process. And then the trick is kind of like it's kind of like a puzzle game. You're trying to figure out how to get them in there. You want to leave that head space as much as possible. And I think that's good for this one. Now you notice I'm using different types of okra. I want to see how these work. I want to see how these turn out. But look at the different okras that I have in here. This is going to be fun. So as you can see here, I'm really, really packing these things in here really, really tight. It's really important to get all the air space out that you possibly can. Because when these start to ferment, or when they start to pickle, they're going to float. So the tighter that you have them in there, the less air, the less air that you can have in there, it's just going to be the best thing that you can do. And look at that. Looks good. And I think we're ready. Okay, the next part of this is we're going to introduce the brine to the jars. Now, remember, that brine has been boiling. You should have you by should. now maybe taken it down a little bit on the heat. And um, they're ready to go. So once you put the water, or I'm sorry, once you put the brine in the jars, you're going to seal them. And then we're going to stick them back in the water bath. So here we go. I'm going to stir this up one more time. Now this is really, really hot, so it's ready to go. Okay, for filling up the jars, you want to use one of these little funnels. They come with most canning kits, and they are super, super helpful. And again, whenever we're filling them up, we want to leave about a quarter inch at the top of space. Now for these little jars, you got to be really, really careful. You don't want to overflow them. Okay, and there we have it. The water, the liquid is in, the brine is in. Now we got to get the lids out and get them sealed up. Okay, now whenever we put the lids, the whenever we put the lids on right here, what the book says to do is tighten it just to where you feel the torque, like right there. But I go just a little bit more just to make sure that it's on there really, really good. Not super, super tight. You don't want to, you don't want to take it down to like a death grip, but you want it on there snug and secure. Okay, and there we go. Lids are on, rings are on. Time to go back in the boiling water. I'm sorry, it's time to go back in the water. It's not, you don't want it boiling just yet. Okay, as you can see, that water is really, really hot. Not quite to the boil yet. Here we go. We're gonna introduce the jars to the water. And you want the water level to be above the lids, like it is right there. When you sit them in, you're gonna see those little bubbles come out. That's just the air escaping from the rings. And this is a time that they need to be sitting up. You do not want them to turn over at this stage. Okay, all the jars are in and we're waiting for it to boil. Okay, I'm gonna give it about another 30 seconds and then we're gonna start the timer for 15 minutes. Okay, timer's going. See you in 15 minutes. All right, hey everyone, uh, before the time is over, I just found something out. I've been messing with these okra here for the last 10 minutes or so, and yeah, I just figured this out, and I can't believe I didn't know this already. So if you look right here, each one of these is a section. If you just reach in there, 
break this section apart, they open right up. Look at that. And then you can see right here, you can do it again. <laughs> Nature made this so easy to open and I've been doing it all wrong. So already I've got all these seeds and I'm not cooking these, these in the microwave because I'm going to ferment them. I'm going to pickle them. So I don't need to cook those. I've cooked the ones that I want to eat right out of the shell. Maybe put it in a little, in a little ramekin, add a little lemon juice to it and call it a day. But so easy to open an okra pod. Look at that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so there was the timer. It's time to get them out of the water right now. Okay, again, in, in this part of it, you want to get them out and you want to tip. I'm going to go ahead and turn the water off. You want to go ahead and tip the jars to get all the water off the top of that lid that you can't. And then you're just going to put them back on a towel. Especially now that they've been boiling, you do not want to sit these on a counter. Okay, as they're sitting on the counter, you know they're done whenever you hear the pop. That is this lid sealing to the jar. Let's listen. There was two. Okay, and that's it. When you hear that little pop, you know they're sealed and we're done. Now, once they cool off, my advice is to write the date on top of them, like I did last week when I made these with my mom. And then once they're done, set them aside. Now, like with any kind of a pickled product, the longer they sit, usually the better they're going to be. Now, I wasn't going to do this, but why not give this a taste? These have been in here for a week. Now, I was going to do these where I cut them up into little like pickle sizes. I was going to do those with those, but I just went ahead and did them all full length. Uh, but what I'm excited to try are the seeds that have been in here. So let's give this a shot. Looks pretty good. All right, so here we go. Now I did these the exact same way as I did those. There's red peppers in here and some garlic. So I'm excited to try this. As you can see, I'm gonna do a spoonful of seeds first. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is a home run. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay, so you can taste the okra, but the okra's kind of mild. You taste the pepper and the garlic quite a bit. Not overpowering, but man, that is good. Okay, now we're gonna try one of these. Okay, now before I eat this, I wanna explain what these are. These right here used to be big okra like this that you can't really do anything with until you microwave it. These took about 40 to 45, 50 seconds to pop. You heard the pop or we heard the pop in the microwave. And then once you pull them out again, very hot, but you can cut right through these things like butter. I mean, super easy, but the only way to get the shell soft is to microwave. What we did is we went ahead and did all that and then threw them in here. Now these should be very soft. Uh, so these should be soft. Let's, let's find out. Oh my goodness. Y'all, you just don't know. This is the best harvest and taste that I've done yet. This is a knock out of the park. If you like okra, 
If you like pickled okra and you want to do it yourself, hey, what I just showed y'all is good to go. Mm. Wow. All right, I'm going to stop before I eat that whole thing. Holy mackerel. All right. <clears throat> Home run. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm very excited. <laughs> All right, everyone. So that is the video. As you can tell, I am super, super happy because this is a knock out of the park. Now, one thing I will say is if I wanted those to be a little hotter, add more pepper, or maybe it'll be hotter when I get down toward the bottom of that jar. But either way, what a great, great recipe. And this is relatively simple. Once you get your, once you get your rhythm down, this doesn't take a long, long time. And it's kind of fun, you know. Um, I've enjoyed doing this. I enjoyed learning this with my mom teaching me. And uh, hey, you're never too old to learn. I mean, I'm 45 and I'm learning new stuff every day, especially out in the garden. And that is why I encourage everyone to get your kids, grandkids, anyone out in the garden. Get the dirt and the nails. Teach them. Show them the joy of growing. And then, the, and then show them the joy of eating. <laughs> all right, everyone. That's all I got for you all. Thank you for watching. Please share the video. And as always, shine bright and harvest hard.